Hey folks, welcome back once again to Adab Africa. This is Chris with uh, breaking news out of Ghana, out of Accra, where a former flight lieutenant and twice coup planner and plotter and executor and later president of Ghana, flight lieutenant, President Jerry Rawlings has passed away at the age of 73. Rawlings, the son of a Scottish farmer and a Ghanaian mother, entered the, the Ghanaian Air Force in 1969. And then later, just a decade later, as a flight lieutenant, led a coup that overthrew the sitting government and then stepped aside uh, as a, a transitional government was formed and he, uh, military civilian council. And then again, famously in 1981, overthrew the government yet again for a second time and then led Ghana illegitimately uh, as a coup executor from 1981 until 1993 when he was elected to office, took office in 1993 for the first of two terms by popular election in a multi-party election he was elected. Now, Jerry Rawlings is famously a controversial figure. figure he's beloved or reviled, depending who you talk to. Uh, his, his time in office is known for his authoritarian rule, also for pervasive human rights abuse claims, extra-legal executions, and basically, as I said, illegal rule from 1981 to 1993. Nonetheless, Jerry Rawlings prepared modern Ghana for where it's at. One can certainly make that argument. He uh, liberalized the economy, changed the nature of the economy, which had been screwed up ever since Kwame Nkrumah started on his leftist bent back in the 1950s, late 1950s. But Ghana's economy was liberalized and opened it up with investments in the oil sector and gold sectors, among other things, and changed the trajectory of Ghana's economic development, as well as political development, too. Uh, Jerry Rawlings oversaw the implementation of multi-party democracy, served two legitimate terms as president, was wildly popular, left office, and turned over to John Kufor, the opposition party who won the election. And uh, we've now seen successive elections in which the opposition can win and the ruling party steps aside. Very hopeful sign for Ghana since 2001. It's been on the right path. So there you have it, folks. Lots of uh, tributes pouring in, lots of kind words pouring in from folks, including uh, from the current president, Nana Akufu Addo, who said, a giant tree has fallen and Ghana is poor for his for this loss. So there's other other tributes coming, but the former president, John Mahama, who is uh, running again for president against the sitting president, both of whom are suspending their election campaigns, the upcoming general elections on December 7th. So this is a very untimely passing just three weeks before a national election to decide Ghana's president, the last major election this calendar year in Africa. So a big election in Ghana to see whether John Mahama will make it back in office as president or whether Nana Akufa Otto will remain in office, is coming up on December 7th. So we're waiting for that to happen. This from the African Union Commission chairman, that's Musa Mahamet, uh, Mahamat, excuse me, said, Africa has lost a stalwart of pan-Africanism and a charismatic, charismatic continental statesman. Charismatic continental statesman. Sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, once again, the African Union uh, Commission chairperson, Musa Mahamat, said that Africa has lost a stalwart of pan-Africanism and a charismatic continental statesman. Uh, reasonable state, uh, stom comments and statements there from his later years. Uh, he always remained a power broker behind the scenes, and people suspect that he was pulling levers of power for his party. Whether that's true or not, that remains for speculation. Certainly plenty of people attest to that. But he certainly was an elder statesman, uh, serving as the African Union representative to Somalia in Somalia, and then also in later years championed debt relief for Africa. Of course, uh, Ghana profited immensely from the heavily indebted poor countries initiative, HIPIC, and HIPIC II, or Enhanced HIPIC, which wiped out billions of dollars of debt, much of which was accrued during his time in leadership. And so Ghana got a free pass and got to welch on their debts, courtesy of the generosity of the United States and international lending institutions and commercial banks, which wiped out their debt in return for good governance, which, to be fair, Ghana delivered on. Uh, Ghana has delivered good governance, and the, the payoff for the West in forgiving those loans seems to be a reasonable exchange. So Ghana's been on a good path now for a good 20 years, and arguably we owe much of this to Jerry Rawlings. Jerry Rawlings, who twice overthrew his government and then led illegitimately for a dozen years, but elected to two legitimate terms as president, is quite a um, complicated figure, to say the least. Now, one of the problems with uh, his rule is that he oversaw the execution of several former heads of state and army generals for corruption. Uh, quite uh, a brutal situation took place in Ghana during his tenure, but he had some very clear words on that. And he, but he oversaw the, the execution of General Frederick uh, Kufo, which uh, was one of the ones that really got a lot of attention. But um, 
the uh, firing squad for Supreme Court judge, court judges really left a stain with legacy. Now, this is what he had to say about this. He said, I'm still aware that we in Ghana do not like bloodshed, he said at the time after having the Supreme Court justices executed. I personally do not like it. I mean, I'd rather, let's say, confiscate a man's wealth and bring him down to the level to which he's brought us just to give him a taste of what life has been and what he's done to us. Those are the words of a tyrant, ladies and gentlemen. But again, as I say, um, Jerry Rawlings has a complicated legacy. He uh, was wildly popular with Ghanaians. He was uh, arguably incredibly successful as legitimate president of Ghana, although that decade in the wilds in the, as an outcast nation was not the best of times for Ghana in the 1980s. But uh, the 1990s were very good for Ghana. And this century has been very good for Ghana, which returned to civilian rule. Ladies and gentlemen, dead at the age of 73, former flight lieutenant and later president of Ghana, Jerry Rawlings, Jerry John Rawlings, born the 22nd of June, 1947, passed away on this date, the 12th of November, 2020, 73 years of age. Uh, rest in peace, Jerry Rawlings. And I think that in the end, um, one will have to make the argument that Jerry Rawlings certainly did more good for Ghana than bad. Human beings are complicated creatures. And uh, we all have the things that we wonder whether he did right or wrong. In the case of Jerry Rawlings, I wonder, as he went to his passing, if he regretted his actions. I suspect he didn't, because he probably felt comfortable in the fact that he left Ghana in good stead after his time in office. But there you go, folks, a giant of Ghanaian history. Accolades are pouring in from all over the continent as I speak right now. Anyway, folks, once again, dead at the age of 73, former President Jerry John Rawlings, Born the 22nd of June, 1947. Passed away today, the 12th of November, 2020. Thanks, folks. If you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, I ask you to take a moment and catch up on news from Africa and analysis on this channel. Chris White Africa from all over Africa by becoming a subscriber. Just push that subscription button right down there. Be sure to toggle that bell icon to get notified of updates. You'll get the updates, especially if you're using the mobile app on your phone. So I encourage you to get the YouTube app on your phone. Then you'll get the updates. You won't necessarily get them by email, so be sure to get them by having the app on your phone. Make sure that notifications are turned on. Feel free to leave a comment uh, about this uh, video or about Jerry Rawlings if you like. Curious to hear what people have to say. By and large, I'd say uh, a positive impact by far measure for Ghana. And finally, I ask that you smash the like button because likes drive viewership and uh, more viewers, the more people wear this content. So I want to thank you for your time, for your patience, for your patronage. God bless and have a good night. Rest in peace, Jerry Rawlings.